أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. What a great time it is for now. The blessed month, the great month of Rabi'il Awwal, the month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is here with us. And so I take this opportunity to convey to you special congratulations and special Mubarak greetings on the occasion of the month of Rabi'il Awwal, the month of the Mawlid of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And this great, sacred, blessed occasion of Mawlid al-Rasul or Milad nabi the uh, celebration, the commemoration of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, in this Quran, in Surah Yunus chapter 10 verse 58, reveals to us, Kul bifadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi thalika fal yafrahu huwa khayrum mimma yajma'oon. And because of the bounties and gifts and mercies that God Almighty has bestowed upon you, then express joy and happiness. This is a way for you to give thanks to God Almighty by expressing joy and happiness because of the bounties and the mercies that God Almighty has bestowed upon you. And certainly the ni'matul kubra, the greatest bounty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bestow upon us and has bestowed upon us is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And therefore, express joy and happiness. Celebrate this great personality, the greatest of creation of God Almighty, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who is the greatest manifestation of his mercy in Surah Al-Anbiya, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as the mercy to all of creation. So the mercy of God Almighty, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, chose the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be this manifestation of divine mercy to the creation of God Almighty, uh, on, to all of creation. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And therefore, the Prophet والسلام, who is this greatest manifestation and this greatest embodiment of the mercy that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all of us and to all of creation, 
uh, is the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, and therefore celebrate, be happy, be joyful at the time of his coming. And this month of Rabi'ul Awwal marks the anniversary of the coming of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, a time and an occasion that all of creation celebrated. From the highest heights of the heavens to the lowest depths of the earth, uh, angels uh, came out in the largest of numbers to welcome the coming of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And anyone, any of the creation of Allah that uh, celebrates or express joy because of the coming and the occasion of the coming of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, that person is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam recognized the day of his birth. So this is not something new that we are doing when we recognize the day of his birth. Uh, such as the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal. Of course, the celebration of the birth of the Prophet wasalam, the Mawlid al-Sharif, is not restricted to the tent of Rabi'l Awwal. We have mentioned to you almost every week on this program of the, the weekly Mawlid uh, that we have at Islamic Forum and elsewhere to honor the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have mentioned to you uh, on many occasions the nightly Mawlids that we have uh, for the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam, such as in this month of Rabi'l Awwal, uh, we, we have throughout the month of Rabi'l Awwal every night Mawlid to honor the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam. We did the same thing in Muharram to honor the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam and his family, the Ahlul Bayt. Uh, and, uh, and, and in the, the other special months and spe- special occasions, we would do the Mawlid throughout the year uh, on Thursday nights every week, uh, Saturday nights at Islamic Forum, and on special occasions we do that uh, to honor the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So it's not restricted to the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal, but the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal and the season of Rabi'a, Rabi'l Awwal, Rabi'a Thani, uh, is a special occasion for us to uh, commemorate in a collective way the blessings that God Almighty has bestowed upon us, as he says, express joy and happiness. فَلْيَفْرَحُ Show, display this your happiness and your joy because of the ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. Every blessing, every bounty that God Almighty has bestowed upon us, we are obligated to express thanks and gratitude to him. Uh, the, the, the shukur uh, is wajib, wajib upon us. It's obligatory upon us to do that. What about the greatest blessing, the greatest bounty, the greatest mercy that God Almighty can give, it, give to us? What should we do then? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, God Almighty tells us in the Quran, Kul bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi thalika fal yafrahu huwa khayru mima yajma'un. So this farah, this show of joy and happiness should be the response of all the creation of Allah because of the greatest blessing that God Almighty has bestowed upon them. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, Words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says in one of his sacred statements or hadith, Khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'ana wa'allamahu. The best of you is the one who studies this Qur'an, learns this Qur'an, acquires knowledge of this Qur'an, and then teaches it to others. And so we want to invite you to join the educational programs at the Islamic Forum. You saw in, in the clip uh, that we showed you now uh, the Islamic school that we have at the Islamic Forum uh, every Saturday from 10.30 in the morning until 3 p.m. for your children, youth, teenagers, and young adult, and so on. And then Friday evenings, we have classes for adults to teach you Quran, to read Quran, to memorize Quran, to understand Quran, tafsir of Quran, tajweed of Quran, and so on, and other Islamic uh, subjects as well. So many opportunities are there. I want to invite you to come out, uh, bring your children, your family members, your parents, your spouse, and so on, to join the different programs we have at the Islamic Forum. Uh, for your children and you, your youth and teenagers, this Saturday program, hopefully you can come next Saturday, 10.30 in the morning, to register for the Islamic school, and uh, Friday evening, 7 p.m., to register for the adult program, inshallah. Then the Maulid, or family program, every week, Saturday, every Saturday, at 6 p.m. today, inshallah, uh, we want to invite you to come out for the special Maulid. And now, because of the month of Rabi'l Awwal, we are having Maulid every night, uh, throughout this month in honor of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We also have uh, some uh, special program. Tomorrow night is the special night uh, corresponding to the 12th night of Rabi'l Awwal. Monday coming, the 13th of January, uh, will be the 12th day of Rabi'l Awwal. So tomorrow night, Sunday night, at the Islamic Forum, we have an all-night program, the Grand Maulid for Rabi'l Awwal on the night of the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal, the night of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so we want to invite you to come out to the Islamic Forum. The program starts at 7 p.m. and we'll go throughout the night uh, with recitation of much salawat and durud sharif. Uh, and other programs in honor of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then Monday, the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal, we want to recommend to you that you fast. This is a special day uh, and it is a special blessing for us this year that the Prophet Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born on a Monday, the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal. And it happens that the 12th of Rabi'l Awwal this year falls on a Monday as well. Don't let this opportunity uh, go by without you doing something. So fast on Monday, the day of the birth of the Prophet Ali Islam. Then Monday is, is a weekly sunnah fasting. You do that. It's a month of Rabi'l Awwal, a special month. The month of the Prophet Ali Islam, you fast in this month as well. So Monday, I want you to fast and get all your family members and convey this message that, that I'm saying to you now. Uh, convey it after this program concludes to your relatives, your family members, your friends, people that you know, so that they can also be observing this program. Now we have tomorrow night, the night of the 12th, the special program at the Islamic Forum. I know many of you who are living out of the greater Toronto area, out of the GTA, you may not be able to come to the Islamic Forum physically. Uh, I, I know many of you from, uh, that are looking at this program from cities across Canada, Ottawa, Edmonton, Calgary, Montreal, and so on and so forth, London, Ontario, uh, many places you contact us regularly uh, and you support this program with your donations and so on. We don't want you to miss out from uh, this important opportunity, this important sacred blessed occasion of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I want you to organize maulids in your homes tomorrow night. If you live to, uh, near to a masjid that's doing the program, uh, you can join them first and then you go home and do your own program. If uh, the masjids in your city, in your vicinity are not observing the maulid, then don't be discouraged. Organize it in your home. Uh, so I want each one of you to start preparing now after this program concludes or this, uh, the rest of this evening. Uh, arrange your maulid. Call your relatives and friends. Invite them over uh, tomorrow night uh, in your home to do the maulid of the Prophet Ali, his salatu salam. You would, now some of you ask, what should you do the maulid? The same agenda we have at Islamic Forum, recite Quran, and we recommend you recite Surah Yasin. 
because Surya Yasin is good for whatever useful occasion or purpose it is recited for. And Prophet, Prophet Ali Salaam loved Surya Yasin. He said that I desire that Surya Yasin will be in the heart of all my followers. So you want to be able to recite and memorize Surya Yasin, put it in your heart because the Prophet Ali Salaam loves that. Uh, so recite Surya Yasin, uh, then recite Salawat. And you can do this in your zawiyah, your home zawiyah. Remember we said, establish your home zawiyah. Put, put aside a place in your home where you can recite dhikr, recite salawat, and do your salah, recite your Quran there, inshallah. If you dedicate a place in your home for, as your home zawiyah, the angels will come and be there with you and bring barak and blessing in your home. So I want you to do that if you haven't already done that. So tomorrow night in your home zawiyah, get your relatives and friends together to do the maulis with the Prophet Ali. Recite Quran such as Surya Yasin, recite Salawat or Durud Sharif uh, for the Prophet alayhi salat was salam. Check the Islamic Forum website, you can print out a copy of the Salawat that you can recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Abdika wa Rasulika Nabil Ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim uh, or any, any other form of Salawat that you can do. And of course, uh, as is our tradition, uh, you would prepare some food and offer it to your guest, or they can bring some food also if that's convenient. Uh, so at the end of the program, you have a nice meal. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy tomorrow night. It is the night of the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. Let us celebrate this in a big way, but in a wholesome way, in a way which is loved by the Prophet alayhi salatu salam and by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah mubarak to each and every one of you. واللي فقد عز النصير ولم أجد إلا كعونا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran O you who believe when you hear the call to Jumu'ah hasten to make the mentioning of Allah it was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Mawlid al Nabi Mubarak, uh, Mawlid al Rasul Mubarak, each and every one of you, Yawm al Nabi Mubarak and Milad al Nabi Mubarak. Uh, special greetings on this grand occasion, this great, this blessed, sacred occasion of the celebration, the commemoration of the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which in fact is the celebration of Islam because the Prophet Alaihi Wasallam is the symbol of Islam, the greatest symbol of Islam. He is the one who brought Islam to us and to all of creation from God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who brought the Quran to us, the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us. So this celebration of the Prophet alayhi salatu islam has great significance. Now, uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu islam used to fast on Mondays and the Sahabas asked him uh, why he would fast on Monday and he responded that 
he was born on a Monday and he fasted on a Monday to give thanks to God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for, for the day of his birth. And, and this hadith is in Sahih Muslim, in Kitab Siyam or Kitab Song. Uh, so it's an authentic hadith uh, which shows that the Prophet وسلم, recognized the day of his birth. Uh, it was not uh, an insignificant occasion. He didn't let it go by. In fact, we have this tradition of our own birth anniversaries. We do it once a year. Uh, but the Prophet ﷺ would do this once every week. He said he was born on a Monday. That's the day of his birth, his birthday. And he would fast every Monday to express thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for uh, being born on this day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, sent him into this world on that day. So it is very clear. And I want you to recognize because because sometimes you may hear someone saying that the celebration of Miladun Nabi or Mawlid Rasul is bid'ah, it's an innovation. It's not. It's not. It is a central part of Islam. It is the celebration of Islam itself, the commemoration of Islam. So the Prophet alayhi salatu salam did this. If it was a bid'ah to uh, observe his birthday, he would not have recognized it. He would not have fasted on Mondays. Uh, he would let it go by. Maybe he would fast on Tuesdays or some other day. Uh, but he did it on Monday, and he mentioned in this hadith in Sahih Muslim, this is the reason why he was born on a Monday. I also want to share with you uh, another hadith that would give us important lessons uh, about the benefits of celebrating the Prophet ﷺ and show joy and happiness because of him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So in, in, in Sahih Bukhari, Imam Bukhari in Kitab al Nikah mentions this incident where Abu Lahab, who later on became one of the staunchest enemies of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam and Islam, even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even uh, his, his enmity is recorded in the Quran uh, in, in Surah Lahab, Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin wa Tab, because of his, ob his objections on opposing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. But on the day of the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, his maidservant, Thuwayyib, uh, brought the news of the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam to him, uh, Thuwaiba, his maidservant, and she told him that his brother, uh, Sayyidina Abdullah, was blessed with a son, uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And Abu Lahab freed her. He granted her freedom. Uh, and he distributed sweets, halawiyat, mitai, he delivers sweets in the streets of Mecca to the people of Mecca to express his joy and happiness at the birth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu In the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet alayhi salatu said that he is in hellfire because of what he did, uh, Abu Lahab, uh, because of his opposition to the Prophet alayhi salatu But every Monday, every Monday, he receives relief from his punishment in hellfire because that was the day that he expressed joy and happiness at the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. He freed his maidservant, Thuwaiba, uh, and he distributed sweets to show his joy and happiness, uh, and he receives benefit and, and for that relief from punishment on Mondays because he did that. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us to show happiness and joy on this occasion of the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. Mawlidun Nabi Mubarak to each and every one of you. Help us 
make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please, donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Milad Nabi Mubarak, Maulid Nabi Mubarak to each and every one of you. There's much more to say about this grand, this great occasion, but unfortunately, time does not allow us to do that now. But inshallah, there, there are other opportunities. Specifically, tomorrow night at the Islamic Forum, we have the special grand Maulid for Maulid Rasul occasion. Uh, an all-night program starting at 7 p.m. We invite all of you to come out, bring your relative, your family members, your children, especially your spouse, your parents, uh, and your relatives, your loved ones. Bring all of them out tomorrow night uh, to this uh, to the Islamic Forum uh, for the special uh, occasion of the night of the 12th of Rabi'il Awal, the night of the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, also, remember every night we have Maulid programs throughout the month of Rabi'il Awal in honor of the Prophet alaihi salatu wasallam. If you're not yet to come to the Islamic Forum, there will be a live broadcast, live streaming on our YouTube channel and on our website. Uh, go there for further information. Also, uh, on our Facebook page, uh, you would get uh, more information. So join, uh, subscribe to the Facebook page, to the YouTube channel, and the other social media pages so you can get information on what we are doing, inshallah. Remember our Sacred Knowledge Seminar, uh, Sunday, the 2nd of February, a matter of life and death. Uh, come out to this program, the, the journey of the soul. We'll deal with all of those interesting issues. Uh, so register at the Islamic Forum for the Sacred Knowledge Seminar, inshallah. Uh, we want to thank our donors, and we hope you can donate something today to the Islamic Forum. We appeal to you to make a, general do a generous donation to the Islamic Forum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for, for doing that. Until we meet again, uh, special blessings and dua for each and every one of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.